Hello, good morning. Hi. Uh, my name's Tony. And I'm Leslie. And um, we're going to share with you a scripture this morning that is close to our heart. Um, and uh, it's from Proverbs 3, yeah. starting at verse 5 through to verse 8. And it says this, this is the NIV version. It says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to him, and he will make your paths straight. Do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and shun evil. This will bring health to your body and nourishment to your bones. And um, it, for us, this is a key scripture that we have come back to time and time again over the years, as we've had to face all sorts of situations, both um, together in our marriage with our family, yeah. uh, but also individually as well. And um, it's become, in a sense, our go-to scripture to remind us of the faithfulness of God and really where we should put our trust, um, not in our ability, not in our own, our own understanding, yeah. but in, in the Lord. Amen. And, uh, you know, whether we understand it or not. I can remember a number of years ago when I was 50, I had a, a heart attack. And many of you may, I remember may it know too. that you remember it too. Yeah. And um, at the time, uh, both in a sense during the recuperation process, I had to ask God a number of times, what is this all about? What, why? Why did you let it happen? What does this mean? What are you trying to say? And um, whilst there was nothing clear cut, I, I again came back to this, which says, you know, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. And I had to, in a way, give it to him. Uh, I didn't understand the situation, but I had to give it to him and say, OK, I don't understand it, but I give it to you. I submit it to you. And today, in the situation we're in with coronavirus, we may not understand it. We may not understand what we're going through, why mm. we're going through it. But we know that we can trust in God and we can submit our thoughts, our ideas, our yeah. understanding, our fears, our anxieties. We can trust yeah. him in everything we do. And then he will make our path straight. Uh, so, yeah, it's, it's for us. It's a, a very important scripture that we come back to time and time again. Yeah, we um, first found it when we were young Christians and our jobs were changing and they didn't quite make much sense to sort of leave the church we were at, leave the city where we'd become Christians and all our friends were. Mm -hmm. um, but we felt that's what God asked us to do. So it was a case that we had to trust and just obey, thinking that, God, we trust in you because you are bigger than, than anything we can do or think of and you can make those paths straight. And he always has proved faithful. Um, when I was sort of, God gave me the instruction to um, organise a dance to raise funds for girls to be educated in Pakistan and it made absolutely no sense to me. Um, where is the money going? What was I going to do with it? And I really had to just trust God mm -hmm. of that's what you've said to do. I couldn't see the end. I couldn't even see around the corner. But I knew that's what God had said. Just do this and trust me with the rest. And he proved faithful and put all the links in place. And it's just one of those things that when we're never sure, we do what we feel is right in our heart that God has told us to do. Because at the end of the day, his way is paramount and he will always make us a way through. Amen. Amen. So this morning, if, you're, if you've got questions, like I think we all have, if you're unsure quite what this is all about or you're finding just life a little bit difficult at the moment uh, with everything that's going on. Um, let's just come back to this and say, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to him. He will make your path straight. Do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and shun evil. Mm. This will bring health to your body Amen. and nourishment to your bones. Something we could all do with at Absolutely. this time. So God bless you guys. Mm. Have a great day. Uh, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, uh, we just want to bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God is good. Amen. Woo -woo. Goodbye. Bye. Mm.